Welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you've been enjoying the content that I've been creating over the last couple of weeks. If you are not a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. So really cool episode today. This actually came from one of you guys in the video that I posted a while ago where I go over the features of the 8800 series phones. Someone had a comment and their comment slash question was, hey, I've got a cell phone. It's got a corporate Verizon plan on it. How can I use that and connect it to a Cisco desk phone, right? We don't really have a corporate calling plan with Cisco phones. We don't use Ring Central or WebEx calling or anything like that. But I like this desk phone. I like that it's got a handset. I like that it actually has keys on there that I can touch. I like the speaker phone. I like the ergonomics of it. And I, I can leave my cell phone in my pocket or kind of put it on my desk, things like that. So in today's video, what we're going to talk about is how to get that to work. We're going to use Bluetooth capabilities. We're going to go Bluetooth from here to here. And I've got an 8861 3PCC phone. So this is a third-party call control phone. But we're not going to actually register this to a calling plan. All the calling plan, everything is going to come from your cell phone. So with that, let me switch the camera around, point it to the phone over here, and I'll show you guys how to get this done. When you plug in your 3PCC phone or MPP phone, this is the screen you're going to be greeted with because it wants you to register these devices to WebEx Calling. So what we need to do is we need to exit out of this screen. The easiest way to do it is just to put in some dummy information. And to do that, what we're going to do is click the gear icon on the phone, and that's going to take us into the settings. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down to device administration and again go down until we see profile rule and literally we can put anything in here so I'll just put a B <clears throat> click on resync here say skip this part and it's gonna fail it'll bomb out here and we don't really care because again we're just putting some dummy information in there so it stops that other pop-up then when we go back here now we're gonna be into the actual phone from here, it's pretty simple to set up the Bluetooth. We're gonna go ahead and hit that gear button again, and we're gonna go down to Bluetooth. Click that. Bluetooth mode is currently off. We're gonna to wanna to turn that on. Bluetooth mode, we're gonna to wanna to go to both. And then under devices, first we need to set this. Phone will probably reboot for a second, so I'm gonna let this reboot. Once it comes back up, you'll see the little Bluetooth icon down there or sorry, at the top, and then the little uh, line icon right there. And basically what that's showing is uh, this is going to be the line for your phone right there. So let's set it. Hit that gear again. Go over to Bluetooth. For devices, you're going to hit the right arrow. And then you're going to say go ahead and scan. And on your iPhone, just make sure that it's actually discoverable right now. Click scan. And in a couple seconds, it should find your device. It found it. Hit connect. If you're using an iPhone, it's going to ask you to hit OK, verify the pin, hit pair on your iPhone. So pair it, hit OK. And then it's asking, would you like to sync your contacts between your cell phone and your desk phone? You can go ahead and do that. And once that's all set, back out of it and your phone is paired and again this is not registered to anything this is the only thing that's available right now is my um, cellular plan on this phone you can see at the top left there I've got my battery icon I've got my cellular bars right there you can see I only have two bars available again Bluetooth icon and then I have my phone which is called iPhone 3 you can rename this whatever you want inside your iPhone uh, showing there at the bottom so from here I can do things like hit my speakerphone button and it should turn on the speaker, the phone. You can see that. I can dial a number. Sorry, 1 800 Flowers. You're going to get a quick call here. And now my phone. You guys can hear that it's coming through the speaker on the phone. You should have a couple features. Let me zoom down here so you can actually put the phone on hold if you wanted to do that. 
You can see the light flashing right here. You put the call on hold. You can unhold the call. You've got mute that works at the bottom as well. Lower this. And then the buttons that don't really work, you can't transfer a call. You can't do a conference call right from here. You'd still have to do that from your iPhone if you wanted to. And the call, and then you can go right into here. You can take a look at recents. If you want to see your recent call history, all that information is right from here. So, you know, pretty cool feature. Um, just using your iPhone cellular plan for all your for all your calling needs on these desk phones here. And you know, if you do want to move this here too, so you'd rather have that on, let's say, line one for whatever reason, you can actually move this up if you want to. You can actually put it anywhere on the screen. So let's go over to my computer and I'll show you guys how to move that around. And actually, before we do that, let's just check to make sure that the web server is enabled on the phone. So click the gear. You're going to go down to network configuration, scroll down, and web server should be set for on. So that's good. Then the only other thing we need to take a look at is what's the IP address for this device. So we can do that by going to status, network status and IPv4 status. And you can see here that my IP address 192.168.128.172. So now we can uh, web over to that address and we can get into the web GUI and we can show you how to switch that. So just web into your phone via the IP address up at the top here that we grabbed. You're gonna click on admin login first at the top. Click on voice, click on phone. And then here's the hands-free. We want to change this from line 5 to, let's say, line 1, because that's the only uh, line on this phone, so why not make it line 1? Click, click on Submit here, and the phone will probably reboot real quick. And I'm going to flip over to the camera so you can see what it actually looks like on line 1. So back on the phone there, you guys can see now that the iPhone is, in fact, on line 1. I can press line 1, get a dial tone press my speaker button again get a dial tone and that's it so pretty easy to do if you kind of know the tips and tricks and the secret around it uh, but that's it now i've got my desk phone running off my verizon cellular service uh, again if you guys have any questions post them in the comments below and appreciate you guys watching thanks a lot